Hey guys, Corel Cooper here with OnTheBlack.com giving you a series recap from the Mets Padres series. So the Mets dropped two out of three to the San Diego Padres and they lost their second series in a row. Um, I guess one of the most uh, disheartening things about uh, this series is former Met Heath Bell coming back uh, to New York and, and saving two games in this series. Uh, not only that, but saving, getting the first ever save in City Field. Uh, you know, Heath Bell, former Met. Uh, the fans don't really have uh, too much love for him here. And, you know, he doesn't have too much love for the Mets organization. So, um, kind of a little disheartening that Heath Bell was able to, to get a couple saves and look good uh, this series. Uh, a couple other takeaways from this series. One, I want to talk about Gary Sheffield. Um, you know, Sheffield, um, you know, he has struggled at the plate so far. You know, he's only started one game. He's still kind of getting used to the, the pinch hitting role, I guess, if you will. And, you know, from what I see, um, he's behind on pitches. And, you know, I'm hoping that that's more of Sheffield being rusty at this point and not the fact that, you know, he's 40 years old. Um, but we'll see. But I think that you know, Mets fans, we got to give Sheffield a little bit more time just to see if he can come around. But, you know, he is behind on pitches right now. He still has that very violent swing, but he's he's a little late on pitches right now. Hopefully that's that's rust and not old age, but we'll see over the next couple weeks. But, you know, let's give Sheffield a little bit more time here to see what he can do. Uh, my other takeaway from this series is the Mets starting pitching as a whole. Uh, but specifically, you know, John Main, Oliver Perez, and Mike Pelfrey, who apparently now is hurt and may miss his next start. Um, those three guys, you know, have been in inconsistent so far this season. You know, short season, um, you know, only nine games, but, you know, the Mets are four and five on the season. They've lost uh, the last two series in a row here. And, uh, you know, in my opinion, a big part of that has to do with the starting pitching being inconsistent and particularly those three guys uh, being up and down. You know, if one pitches well, uh, you know, maybe the other two don't and, you know, vice versa. So you need a little bit more consistency from those three guys. And then hopefully the Mets can get on a little bit of run here and, and put some wins together. So now it's time for my who's hot and who's not segment. Uh, first, who's hot? How about uh, Carlos Delgado? Delgado is batting 343 on the year, three home runs and 12 RBIs in the nine games. You know, he hit uh, two absolute bombs at City Field this week. Uh, you know, one in the Pepsi porch area there. And it, and it looks like, you know, Delgado being a left hander. He might be able to golf a lot of balls up there in that Pepsi porch area, you know, throughout the summer. So uh, be watching that to see if Delgado can have a big home run year. But he's definitely uh, the hottest bat in the Mets lineup right now. And on the flip side of that, who's not hot? Uh, Brian Schneider. Uh, you know, Schneider's main purpose for being here obviously is is being the catcher and, you know, for defensive purposes. But Schneider's batting 143 on the season right now. And, you know, at that bottom of the lineup, you know, once you pass, uh, you know, the six hole with Ryan Church and you start getting into seven uh, and eight and the ninth spot with the pitcher, you know, Schneider's normally been batting um, seventh. You know, uh, the bottom of the lineup has been has lacked uh, productivity so far this season. And he's a big part of it uh, being down there batting. Uh, 143. You know, I'm not expecting Schneider to bat 320, but you know, if we can get him in the the, the high 200s, I'll I'll be happy. So uh, hopefully Schneider can turn it around a little bit at the plate. And up next for the Mets this weekend, they have a three-game series against the Milwaukee Brewers at City Field. Uh, you know, the Brewers beat out the Mets last season on the last day of the season for the wild card uh, spot. Uh, what's interesting about this uh, series is that this is the first return uh, to New York um, as a coach for Willie Randolph. So it'll be interesting to see how 
Uh, he's received by the fans at City Field. I expect uh, a lot of boos uh, for Willie, but uh, it'll be interesting to watch to see how he is received. And that's it for this post, guys. Uh, hopefully the Mets will turn around this weekend against the Brewers. Also, uh, you know, look out for a post this weekend, my weekly Mets post, and I'll be doing a question and answer period. So if any of you guys have any Met questions out there, feel free to send them over to me and I'll try to get you in the post this weekend. Talk to you guys soon.